You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Kyles versus Light. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Kyles, you have opened your case to prove to the defendant that her deceased son, James, is your 14-month-old daughter, Ava's biological father. You state that you know the defendant is in pain due to the loss of her son, but so are you. Yes, And Your want Honor. nothing more than to give her closure. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Light, you say, Ms. Kyles is a pathological liar and you claim that as much as you would love for a piece of your son to be here, you don't trust that baby Ava belongs to him. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Kyles, you say that you are hurt too. Explain. Ms. Light is the only one that's hurt. I'm hurt too. That's my child's father. She wasn't a mistake. We planned her and me and him was together. That was my boyfriend. And I loved him. He loved me. And he loved his daughter. We were his family, so I understand she's hurting. That's her son, but me and Ava are hurting, too. Miss Light, I'm sorry for the loss of your son. Thank you. I know this is extremely difficult. Very. Ava's 14 months old. Correct. Have you formed a bond with her? Yes. That's my heart. <laughs> my son was raising her. If she wasn't with my son, she was with me. I love But. But the doubt is still eating away at you. It's killing me. It was just a lot going on. He came to me so many times, hurt after he moved her to Oklahoma and got everything furnished. Another man answered the phone and tried to claim to be Ava's father and be in her life now and all his other stuff. That's a lie. So another man answered the phone and told your son, I'm Ava's father, and I'm in her life now. And he, he yeah, the baby wasn't even born yet. Oh. And so, Miss Kyles, did another man answer the phone? That never happened. Me and James never had any fights or arguments about any females, any males. I was hormonal. I was going through a lot. I was stressful. Our argument's never been about other people in our relationship. And That's so why not... would he make this up with his mother? I, I mean, what, what motive my... would he have to... Because he was mad because I, I wasn't letting him around me. When I was pregnant with, with her, I didn't let him around me. I, he went back to... I was in Oklahoma. He, he moved back to Chicago. He was trying to reach out to me, and I kept ignoring him, and I wasn't answering his calls. He was calling my grandmother. I wasn't... I told her don't answer her phone because I didn't want to deal with him. And from my understanding, he didn't move back to Chicago. He was kicked out. From my understanding, he came to go to a court date that he had in Chicago. And that's when he found out he no longer had a home in Oklahoma. His stuff had been supposedly thrown out. And what wasn't thrown out, the man supposedly kept what he wanted. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. He got mad because I don't like everybody in my house. He brought some other guy with him to my house. I told him, I don't want anybody in my house. My child is, I have, I'm, I'm irritated right now and I have my three, my two-year-old here. I don't want anybody in my house. He, he furnished the house, he can't bring whoever he wanted here. I said, no, you can't, just steal my house. My name is on the lease. So I said, you can't come in. Lock my door, he can't come in. He kept calling my phone, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, babe, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to happen, but why, why, you, why you just got me out here like that? I said, I don't want anybody in my house. I told you that, respect me. All right, so you were having relationship issues in terms of boundaries you set yeah. for your home. That was always And this issue. was all happening when you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. Take me to the point at which Ava was born. Was Mr. Miller with you at the hospital? No, it was just me and my two-year-old daughter. And you were still in Oklahoma? Yes. Did you call him to say the baby's being born? No, Your Honor. He would have been there. Ooh. He would have been there. That's something he would have never wanted to miss. When do you let him know that the baby's here? I decided to give Ava away to a family member, and she named Ava Skyler. Why are we calling her Ava? Because that's the name that me and James wanted to name her. Okay. She took her back to Chicago. A week later, I wanted my baby back. She didn't want to give her to me, so I had to call my mother to get her back. She got her immediately. My mom went to go get her. My mom dropped Ava off to 
Miss Lighthouse, where James was staying at. Okay. Did the birth certificate ever get changed? Is Ava no. on her birth certificate? Or is... She, she... Me and James were on the phone. We discussed this. Only me and him. No one knew about this. Only me and him. But did he, he, he know knew, you he were after, planning to give no. the baby up for adoption? He knew afterwards. When I got her back after that week, I, I called him on the phone and said, I, I'm sorry I did this. Me and him had to talk about it. Me and her both were crying on the phone. He said, I still love you. We're going to get through this. Honestly, we, I think we, we need to give her back. Not knowing his baby's biological name. Because my son had tatted on his face Ava Jache. My son would have told me something. My son would have got the baby's name changed if he had known. We couldn't get her name changed because we were living in Oklahoma. They said we had to wait till she turned one years old to get her name changed. He died in May. Her birthday was in August. He was raising her before then. Wow. He was raised... She was with her daddy. Y'all was in Illinois at this point. She was with her father when he passed away. She was in a car. <laughs> Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. What happened... All I know is something happened. Some uh, girls arguing and another guy came and shot my son. And the girl t tells me that all she could do was try to pull him into the car and drive off. And they kept shooting, so I know it was God, but I don't know what stopped the bullet hole from hitting my grandbaby other than God, because it was a bullet hole that either the door or her car seat stopped it from hitting her. Dear God... The only reason I know that because I've seen it on the news. And so your son was raising her. He was her dad. She he, was yes. in the car with your son. Yes. He in the driver's seat, she in the back seat in the car seat. I just came and got her from me. So you all were raising this baby. Like, this is your biological grandchild, this is your son's child. And he had her name tattooed on his face. Oh, his face. Did Ava. he ever tell you that her legal name was Skylar? No, Your Honor. No. I think How did you even I... find out? We were supposed to... I kept asking about doctor's appointments because I feel like she needed her shots and things like that. And that was the last thing me and my son talked about when he came and got her that day, too. Also, besides her birthday that was coming up. She wanted to talk to me in person, I do believe, to t let me know. I was supposed to take her to a doctor's appointment and then we didn't make it to that doctor's appointment and I received the test. Letting me know that... She didn't have to tell me this, but my grandbaby name is not Ava Jache. Her name is Skylar Angel. And that's how I found out a couple of weeks ago. On my son's obituary and everything is Ava Jache Miller. But, in fact, her name was Skylar Angel, and she did not have your son's last Mary name Miller, either. Miller, no. And, and my you... son would have... He was a good father. Can nobody take that from him? He did everything for his baby. Cash, milk, clothes, everything. Everything for that baby. Everything. For... For uh, Memorial Day, he asked me... Um, he brought her clothes and stuff over there. Mama, can you um, do, the, do her hair in a couple of ponytails? Because he didn't allow nobody to touch her hair. Couldn't touch them curls. You couldn't touch... <laughs> you couldn't touch her hair. And she hung out with Grandma. She was with... She was with me. You never received any word from your son that we discussed it Miss Kyles and I, and we, 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 we decided that we're gonna name her this, but her name is actually something else. No. I think my son died thinking his, her name was Ava Jache Miller. And you believe she has a different name because another man is her biological father? Yeah, I think it's possible. I mean, the situation where she said it never happened, where some man answered the phone, um situation when I have to go find my grandbaby one day, you <laughs> know? Uh, the guy that asked at the door, to me, he tried to favor my son. He even got the tat... some tat tatted over his eyes. Him and... him and James met before. They met. 
And so you felt like the guy looked similar to your son? Somewhat. Not as handsome, but... <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. And so you felt like the baby also... The eyes. <clears throat> ...looked like the other man. The eyes. And yeah. so when you got the baby that day and you took her with you, mm -hmm. were you thinking in that moment, yeah. Lord, is this my son's yes. child? <laughs> yes. Did you talk to Miss Kyles about how you felt? No, not really. And so even knowing the difference in the name, even knowing that you picked up the baby and he was, she was with this other young man, you still held out hope that this is your grandchild and your yes, son's my child. Son loved, that's, my son loved her to death. To death. But now you're afraid to really get attached to the baby. I don't know exactly everything they was going through. You understand? I wasn't there all the time. I, could, I only know his side. When, he, when she was out there, when she went out there, my son asked me to call her and get close to her. She didn't respond to my text messages. She didn't respond to my effort. So for her to say she felt like she didn't have anyone, she would have had someone if she would have responded and got to know me. She didn't have to get that baby away because that baby was, would have been and, and, and is well taken care of. I just want that to be my grandbaby so we can do the right thing and get her name what it's supposed to be, Ava Jashe Miller. And that meant so much to my son, and that's why I know it, because I lost a daughter, and her name was Ashea. She was 15. That was, they was very close. So that's why her name come from, Ava Deshaies. My baby needs us. She needs me, she needs her grandmother. She needs us, and this is not how James would want it to be. It's not. It's not. I don't want to have animosity. But I don't I want to argue. But you do understand, Miss Kyle, that Miss Light's position is she wasn't around you all in the relationship. Her son expressed doubt. He expressed that he had experiences that led him not to fully believe that this child is his biological child, and yet he loved this child. But James and never, James never ever once denied Ava. Never once denied Ava to me. Never once said that to me at all. When but that... you do understand that she's having a difficult time believing that James would ever allow Ava to have a different name, to be named Skylar, and this Never. entire... I told him, I said, don't tell your mom, because I don't know how she will react. So just but keep it between me and us. Me. My son knew Just me. keep it between me and us. He knew I would have did what it takes to get whatever done that needed to be get done. I know how to fix... I know how to, I know how to take care of things. That's what I know well, how to well, do. Well, obviously, he wanted to keep it to himself and just me and him, because if, if he wanted to tell her, he would have told her. Obviously, he just wanted to, me and him to just take care of our business as a, a father and a mother. But you do understand how all of these facts grouped together, it creates doubt. Do you understand that, Ms. Kyles? There's a lot going on can't in this beautiful another. little girl's lose. short life. And then she... I gotta change. She don't know Sky. She, she don't know Skylar. So Ava doesn't even know her name is Skylar. No. No. She knows Ava Jache. That's what everybody calls her. Everyone. I can't... I don't wanna... I can't lose nobody else in my life. I done lost a daughter. I done lost a son. I can't lose nobody else. I can't. And my daughters, they would... They would break them, too. They already hurt. Oh. I just... want this to be my grandbaby and get this done and over with and get her name changed to what it's supposed to be. Miss Kyles... I'm about to go to the results. Before I do, I just want to make sure that there is not any other piece of testimony that you've left out that you would like to share or you feel like you need to share. No, Your Honor. I say my truth. I think it's time we get the results. Yeah. Jerome? Yes. Thank you. You're These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Mm. 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Kyles versus Light, when it comes to 14-month-old Skyler, Ava, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Light and Skyler, Ava, is 99%. You are <laughs> related. Oh, thank you. We can do what we gotta do and get her name. I'm very happy I could deliver this result today. Thank you. Very happy. (laughs) Not just for both of you ladies, but for Ava and for James. Yes. And I hope he's smiling in this moment. (laughs) Yes. If you all would like, I would love to meet you in my chambers and give you an opportunity to hold your grandchild without having any doubt in your mind that she's yours. Yes. Would you like that? Yes, yeah. Are you okay with that, Miss Kyle? Yes. I'll meet you there. Court is adjourned.